one of the pieces that I'm currently working on is uh, the Ted Bundy piece. You know, Ted Bundy, which is um, he's the serial killer that was um, convicted of killing a whole bunch of people, uh, I believe, back in the 80s. And some of his killings even happened as far back as the 70s. And um, this piece is a comment, like a comment um, about how um, when someone is featured re repeatedly in um, the media, how that person gradually ends up becoming a celebrity no matter what it was that um, what, whatever what it doesn't matter what the crime that was created was you know um, today's society they idolize seems like they idolize um, you know the gangsters the mob just the mafia um, criminals in uh, their in their own special way not that they'd like to become them but there's just something that they um, feel like that they that people idolize about them, which is, you know, you know, which is, uh, I mean, pretty interesting and uh, weird at the same time. But, anyways, this piece is uh, about Ted Bundy and how when he was first apprehended and arrested for all his crimes, people really hated him for what he did. But after a while, you know, the news showed him so many times. He, he was the talk of every talk show, of every news segment, and every development in the search for the bodies of the people that, you know, whose lives he took away became like national news and the interesting thing about that is even after being convicted and sentenced to death and as he sat on death row I mean it's popular knowledge that he was receiving an average of 20 to 30 marriage proposal from women on the outside world and we're not talking about crazy women here, we're talking about professionals, you know, people with career jobs and, you know, husbands and wives or divorcees or singles and um, none, quote unquote, none crazies were sending him marriage proposal because in their mind, he was some kind of celebrity that uh, they wanted to uh, get close to, you know. Um, you know, throughout his trial, they were saying that's also how he got close to his victims anyway, you know, with the charm that, uh, you know, by charming them and stuff. But um, this piece is basically on how the media um, can turn anyone into a star if they show them on TV enough. It's as if people turn the mute button on and they just look at the visuals and if they flash it enough, you know, they'll start, uh, you know, um, admiring it for uh, their own personal reasons, whatever that reason may be. This piece uh, is made up of, uh, basically, uh, it's, it's like my other pieces, you know, I don't use canvas, it's uh, produced on um, an oversized wood panel that I've hammered together, that I saw together, and glued together. Um, piece com uh, is composed of uh, paper, black and white paper, um, uh, that I drew down in black paint. You know, uh, the red paint, which um, I use for the smile or the frown. The smile is the charming part, and the frown is how the charm could quickly turn on you, such as uh, Ted Bundy would do. Um, and there's a special ingredient that I've added to the red paint, which is blood, which uh, gives the piece a little bit of, gives the piece more of meaning in relation to, uh, you know, uh, 
what he was responsible for doing. So this is my commentary on the media slash on celebrity and how repetitive imagery have an effect on uh, people in uh, society. <laughs>